I think one of the major aspects of episode 9 that a lot of people, including myself, and really looking forward to seeing in this movie is exactly how J.J. Abrams is going to treat the characters of Kylo Ren and Rey when they are both together on the big screen. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, I will say that is going to be the main focus of this movie, is exactly what those experiences are going to be like for the audience and for the characters of Kylo and Rey going up against each other and having the scenes together in this movie. Now, when we actually look at both Kylo Ren and Rey, we do know that J.J. Abrams is taking them in a totally different direction in this film. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with Kylo Ren and Rey in one of the final scenes of the third act of the movie. Specifically a description of both Kylo Ren and Rey chasing each other on speeders that's said to be a sequence for one of the final scenes in the third act. The next goes over Kylo Ren and Rey crossing a large bridge while on their speeders where at a certain point there is a break in the bridge where Rey has to speed up and clear the gap. It's described that Rey barely makes it and partially crashes eventually falling off the speeder. The next goes over Kylo now jumping over the gap with his speeder safely and hopping off of it where both Rey and Kylo ignite and ha have ignited lightsabers against each other where Rey ignites hers after. It said the speeder chase slash crash for Rey is used as a segue to the beginning or the continuation of a duel between both characters. In the background it said a large castle is beginning to collapse from large blaster fire in the distance. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this and as to why this sounds brilliant, at least in my eyes. I don't know about you guys, but this to me sounds like a brand new take on the Endor chase in Return of the Jedi. So obviously, you know, we can see that J.J. Abrams is drawing a lot of ideas from episode six and essentially doing something entirely new with those inspirational pieces. So in Return of the Jedi, we got that Endor chase, you know, the speeder chase on the forest moon of Endor. And now it's actually going to be used for the main hero and the main villain, Kylo Ren and Rey, in this story where Rey eventually crashes by trying to leap over a bridge that is partially collapsed in the middle and she eventually crashes. That right there is a parallel to when, of course, you know, we have Leia crashing her speeder and falling on the ground. You can see where, you know, J.J. Abrams is trying to do something similar yet different in this story. And this really does keep it at the very core of Star Wars and George Lucas and his philosophy of Star Wars. It's like poetry, it rhymes. I like that idea, honestly. So Kylo Ren eventually clearing the gap successfully and safely, eventually gets off of his speeder and this is the moment in which they ignite both lightsabers in front of each other, Kylo Ren first and then Rey second. So this is either going to be a continuation of the lightsaber duel or the very beginning of the lightsaber duel between both Kylo Ren and Rey in episode 9. Now, not only does this speeder chase sound fascinating to me, but it also sounds like something that's going to be a mixture of what we already saw in the originals and something completely new that J.J. Abrams is trying to do in order to make this very unique and as a way to transition into a lightsaber duel. Again, like I say, we've never seen something like this before on the big screen for a Star Wars movie where we have a main hero and a main villain chasing each other on speeders, eventually transitioning over into a lightsaber duel, beginning to collapse from large blaster fire in the distance. Now, we heard about this castle many times before. I don't know if you guys knew this, but there are going to be two castle structures in this movie, one of which is in the first act and the other of which is in the third act. So I'm not quite sure if this is the quote unquote dark spire in episode nine that Kylo Ren and his Knights of Ren travel to, or if it's a completely different design. Now we do know that this battle is going to take place on a large battlefield and that there's gonna be a lot of medieval elements to it. So when I'm thinking about this bridge, I'm thinking about a bridge in medieval times except more, I guess you could say, modernized to make it more Star Wars-y in a Star Wars film. So that's the thing here. It, it almost kind of reminds me of those movies in which, you know, you have a car chasing a car and the bridge is out and they have to make the gap. They have to clear the gap in order to get across. And one is either successful and one is either not successful. And it seems like that 
That is exactly what J.J. Abrams was trying to do here with the speeder chase sequence in Episode 9. It almost sounds like something that you would expect to see in Solo, a Star Wars story more so than, uh, you know, a Skywalker saga movie, but whatever have you guys. I gotta say, this sounds amazing. Everything with Episode 9. We are getting closer to Star Wars Celebration, by the way. We are 32 days away. All right, just over 30 days, just over one month to go until Star Wars Celebration in which we get that official teaser trailer and most likely the title reveal. And there's a lot of talk that they're waiting until Star Wars Celebration until they reveal the title, which I think is a mistake because they have products to sell there and I just can't see people going into Celebration without knowing the title. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.